Hi there, it's BH3, bluelightdiet.com. In this video, I'm gonna quickly review the MVMT Everscroll Blue Light Glasses. All right, these are the glasses. We're gonna see if they actually block blue light like they tell you, okay? They don't look that bad. They're great frames, but do they work? I think you know the answer but let's go see. So this is their website. And on their website, it says that the Everscroll glasses are built to filter nearly 90% of the most intense blue light rays. All right, let's see if these work. So first of all, what is blue light? Blue light is just a range of light, okay? Now, Light comes in different ranges and it's measured in nanometers. So from 440 to 485 nanometers, that is blue light. Below that, we've got 380 to 440 nanometers and that's mostly characterized as violet light. So why do you wanna block the blue light? Well, too much of this blue and some of the violet light here um, comes out of all of our tech screens. Sunlight, in sunlight, you have a natural balance of red light, of the red and oranges to the blue and the violet light that balances each other out. One of them, the blue light, is very stimulatory and the red light is more regenerative. So it, it, it like, they provide a counterbalance to each other. The problem with computer screens and text sc and all your text screens is this. So this is called a spectrometer and it takes, it, it'll show you the type of light that is spitting out of a particular object. It basically shows you the nutrient profile of the light that you're exposed to. So I'm gonna show you what a computer screen light looks like. So this is what the light coming out of this screen looks like. As you can see, it's really, the light starts at about 430 nanometers, which is in the violet light range still. It peaks at 448 nanometers, which is in the blue light range. So that, that peak there, the, the strongest point of the light here. And then there's a lot of blue light from 400 and, you know, 40 to 480, as you can see. And you can see how it's just a giant spike of blue light and there's hardly any red or, um, or orange light. So what these glasses are supposed to do are they're supposed to block this bad blue light coming out of air. Normally blue light in the daytime is good for you when it's balanced, but you can see tech screens have don't have the balance. So if you are surrounded by tech screens, you've got to cut some of this light down to even things out a bit. So do these blue light glasses block blue light, especially 90% of the bad blue light? Well, let's test. If they do, you should see a lot of that peak go down there, and I want you to see in that 400, look right before the 430 range. See how there's a little bit that pops up there? Pay attention to that too. So we're gonna see if these glasses block any of that light. Boom, look at the peak is still at 448 nanometers. It didn't go down on the spectrometer at all. What happened was a little bit of the light below 430 nanometers went down, but nothing else really moved. There may be some minute differences. You'd have to ask for a transmission report, but these glasses do not block blue light. They're basically worthless for that purpose, all right? They, they say they improve your sleep. These don't do anything to re improve your sleep. There's no way these do anything to re improve your sleep. 
If you look at melatonin suppression here, we see um, lots of melatonin is in the, in the four, you know, 70 wavelength. These do nothing to suppress that light there. Um, if we look at blue light toxicity graph, what we see here is um, most of the toxic, the most toxic blue light to your photoreceptors in your eyes starts right around 430 nanometers and then gets into 440 and 450 nanometers. Those glasses, this is still the reading, you can see that they really do nothing there. They, they, they don't block any of the worst blue light that you're exposed to. So these glasses are worthless for the blue light blocking purposes. They may reduce eye strain or whatever nonsense they say, MBMT uh, say, but the ever scrolls don't work for blocking the most dangerous blue light. Now, how do you get rid of this blue light? How do you get rid of this peak? You want glasses that remove that peak when you are inside on your computer. So you need a yellow tint glasses. So this is the difference. This is what a yellow tint does. It should knock out a lot of that uh, blue. You see how it knocks out a lot of that blue light and it lets a lot more of the other light in? Well, that shows you a a pair of blue light blocking glasses that actually work, okay? So you wear yellow inside during the day. You never wear blue light blocking glasses outside. That is insane. You need lots of blue light during the daytime, okay? And in fact, you always wanna go outside and take light breaks and you always wanna take these glasses off when you're not exposed to the tech screens. So you wear the yellows during the day and to really go crazy, you want orange or red at night because you really wanna get rid of all that blue light and a lot of that green light at night. You're really not supposed to see this, this, this light at night. And these are what the, uh, the reddish orange glasses do. So look at what we're looking at there now. And they just remove, you know, all the blue and almost all the green light at night, okay? So the MVMT Everscroll glasses with the clear lenses do not work as they are advertised at $70, around 70 bucks. They are a ripoff. I'm not even going to include a link to buy them here. Um, I'm going to return these. And if you want to see what glasses actually work, I'll put a link to an article below this video in the description. Okay, this was BH3, bluelightdiet.com. I'll see you later.